It says do not eat. Wait, wait, what? Okay, <laughs> do not eat. Not one piece of any kind of nuts, olives, chocolates, clams, and oysters. Chocolate? Hi everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today we're going to be looking into Marilyn Monroe's skincare routine. So I was sent some of her products by Erna Laszlo, which was her favorite dermatologist where she would get a lot of her skincare products. I have used Erna Laszlo's products a few times and I am going to say that I absolutely love them. The price is really, really expensive, but to be honest with you guys, it is really amazing and it has saved my skin in a lot of ways because as I told you guys before, I would break out a lot, really like around here and I'd get some marks and things like that. And honestly, their products have actually helped <laughs> to fade um, those marks. But anyway, okay, so here we go. So in the morning, um, Marlene would apply active, I think it's called Feel it I, I'm not really sure how to say it, um, oil with a large piece of cotton saturated to the dripping point on the entire face. Okay, so let's see what I have here. Okay, this is light controlling. I don't know if I have active fetal oil, do I? Oh wait, maybe I do. Yes, I do. Okay, so here it's here. Um, I'm gonna open it up so you guys can see it. I'm already like elegant at opening up packaging. <laughs> Okay, so I use a lot of cleansing oils as well myself. Um, it seems to work really well with my skin and if you have acne, um, oils is actually good to put on your skin as far as I'm aware. <laughs> okay, so this is what it looks like and this is what she used. So I do know that they have kept all of these products that she would have used just the same. Um, they might have changed maybe a few ingredients that might not have been okay for today, but it's pretty much the same product and you can still buy it. So I'm going to definitely give this one a try. So then you wash the oil um, in fa off the face and neck immediately in warm water. And then you go in with, okay, here we go. <laughs> this soap. So this is, um, this is just a, okay. They're really testing my like, pronunciation. Uh, Filita, um cleansing bar. I don't know, I just like the colors of it. It looks really pretty. <laughs> so this is like a cleansing soap. Now I have never used a cleansing soap because it kind of freaks me out. Um, but this is the one that she used. So it says that you want to use some warm water, put the soap um, and fill a basing with warm water. Okay, so we need like a bowl. Okay, and we fill it with warm water, we wet the face and neck and then you rub the soap to create a lather and put it all over your face and then rinse it with the water and blow it dry. Okay, so let's try and get into this. Oh, it's this little guy. I have to get the seal. Sometimes, I don't know. <laughs> okay, so here we go. So I have the seal open. Oh my goodness, it kind of looks like, it has the old like Vogue picture on it. Okay, I'm kind of liking this. Okay, so it's from 1927. This is amazing. Look at this, like look at the packaging, you guys. So there's your soap and here is the little thing. Okay, so. Okay, I can't really smell it. I'm like smelling the paper. Like, that is not going to smell in all that thing. So, here is the bar. Um, and then I guess it just looks like a soap bar. I guess. Okay, it smells actually really, really good. So, here is what it would look like. And this is the bar that she would have used as well. It's actually really cool. And I, I don't know, I just did this and like lots of bit of soap just went flying everywhere. <laughs> okay. So that smells actually really good. And um, so I think that's after that, oh wait a minute, there's more you guys. So, okay, so it says, um, apply well shaken normalizer, shake it with a large piece of cotton saturated to the dripping point on the entire face, except around the eyes, blot off with tissues immediately. Okay, so this is, this is serious stuff. Okay, I get it. So, Shake It, the Shake It treatment actually was discontinued. I think it was discontinued not that long ago, but it had been around for years and years. And Marilyn used it. A lot of other celebrities like Audrey Hepburn also used this. So they brought it back and it's actually, the package is really cute. This like little wax kind of thing on top. It's actually really, really nice. <laughs> um, okay, so this is I think was like a toner, like a treatment. Um, it also has a color in it. So I guess it's kind of like, a tinted moisturizer without it being a tinted moisturizer if you know what I mean it's like a tinted thing um, and you do give it a shake 
and you put it all over a cotton pad and you put it all over your face. Now I did say on the box, because I did read this earlier, that if you want like to, the colour to come out more, then you should put like a second coat, um, whatever you feel. And you can wear it alone or you can wear it underneath makeup. Um, so it's kind of like matte your face, so if you like a matte look, it's meant to help with that. I do have really oily skin, so that might help. Um, I said afterwards to dot filotone and tiny dots under eyes. Okay, so they don't really have that anymore, but I guess you can just put any eye cream underneath. Um, and then he said also to dab dual face face powder over the entire face and neck and brush off the powder with a large piece of cotton. Okay, so that part of the routine, um, again, that product has been discontinued, sadly, so we can't do that part, but we do have everything up to there, but for that part, you can just dab on um, just some regular kind of powder. Um, I use a lot of translucent powder, so like Laura Mercier translucent powder would work. Um, so yeah, so let's get on to the evening because this sounds like something extra. <laughs> okay, so I've just been reading like more instructions and there's like little things about even if she was going out to occasions or things like that, that there's extra steps. Okay, so evening if dressing fall instructions for morning so there you go but on formal occasions or when photographed uh, after blotting off normalizer shake it which is this little guy with the it's like the tinted moisturizer kind of looking thing um apply filatone on top of it or entire face also under eyes and neck so i guess that is no it's not this okay i'm guessing that is just I have no idea. I'm guessing that's just some cream. <laughs> um, and then put it under your eyes and neck, then blow off with tissues and apply the powder again. And um, the same instructions as the morning. But then in the evening, okay, so let's get into the evening. So apply the oil. So here we have the same oil as the morning. So you apply that entire face, lips, neck, and wash um, the oil on the face and neck accordingly to instructions for morning. So it's basically the same as the morning. You just wash this off and um, wash your makeup off basically. After drying, you're going to smooth active fetal cream on the entire face, lips and neck. Okay, so I actually do have that, um, but I didn't have it with me. So let me go get that. Okay, so here is the cream here and I've actually been using it. Um, it does smell kind of good. You know, like it smells like your grand's cream or something. I guess it is old <laughs> stuff, so it would smell like a grand cream. But um, it's like a thick cream. Um, so I actually really like it. I've been using it for a while and it's a big tub, so it does last a long time. So apparently after drying, after washing your face, you apply this on entire face, lips and neck. So you're basically putting this everywhere. I just, this is something new for me. I've never put like my cream like all over my face, like underneath my eyes, my lips and my neck. Okay, but wait a minute. You wash off the cream immediately with a large piece of cotton saturated to dripping point. The dripping point's hilarious. I, I love this part. <laughs> with while shaken, um, controlling lotion. Okay, so I have the controlling lotion. Okay, this sounds really weird, but you don't take it off around the eyes and the lips. You leave it on your lips and you leave it on your eyes. Okay, so this is something new because that's like a moisturizing cream and they want you to basically take it off. Put it on for a second. Now take it off. <laughs> Okay, so here is the lotion. I just love their packaging. It's just like really kind of old and vintagey looking. <laughs> um, that is the whole point, Jasmine. But anyway, <laughs> um, so basically, you shake it. You put this on a cotton pad, and you put this all over your face, apart from the lips and your eyes. You don't want to take it off your lips and your eyes, you guys. Um, and then you reapply. Wait a minute here. A reapply with another large piece of cotton saturated to the dripping point with well shaking controlling lotion to cover thickly and let dry overnight. <laughs> okay. Okay, so basically, <laughs> you take the cream off with this. You then put this back on. So you're doing this like twice. And then you leave it on overnight and then under eyes, on lips and neck, block cream off with tissue after 10 minutes. So after 10 minutes, you're gonna take the active fetal cream that you left on your lips and your eyes, you're gonna take that off by blotting it after 10 minutes, once you've done everything. Okay, this is really something extra. Like this is different from your usual, just like cleanse, tone, serums, moisturize. Now you're basically taking your moisturizer off. Like 
I'm so confused. <laughs> I'm so confused, but I'm really eager to try it. It says, do not eat. Wait, wait, what? Okay, <laughs> do not eat. Not one piece of any kind of nuts, olives, chocolates, clams, and oysters. Chocolate? Oh my goodness. Okay, I don't know if I can do this routine. This routine's already out the deal for me because I love chocolate, you guys. Like, I love it like with ice cream, with frozen yogurt, like cereal bars with chocolate. I have like a collagen shake that has chocolate in it. Okay, this is like gonna be commitment to get rid of chocolate. I love olives too, oh my goodness. Okay, clams and oysters, uh, that's not for me. So I'm good, <laughs> I'm all good there. <laughs> okay, so basically that is Marilyn Monroe's skincare routine. And it does seem a bit lengthy and I think it's gonna take me some time to learn it off by heart and to know everything about all these products because it's basically putting products on and then take them all back off and then put them back on and then you can't do this and then you can't do that okay so it's something extra definitely <laughs> but anyway you guys i am going to give this a try and i will definitely keep you up to date with how it went um over the next week and see how i got on with it so if you like this video please don't forget to subscribe leave a comment or a like and if there's anything else that you would like to see on my channel in the future then please let me know in the comments because i'd love to know some of your suggestions so have a great rest of your Monday and I'll speak to y'all very, very soon. Bye. Okay, so I also forgot to mention this cream. <laughs> so I got through her whole thing, but one of her main creams that she loved to use all the time is like a moisturizer was Formula 3.9 cream. So when Marlon had it, I think it was like Formula 3.6 or something like that cream. Um, I'm going to correct it and put it here if I was a little bit wrong there, but I do know that this is something that she used all the time. She actually used it to help heal some of her scars um, on her stomach. Um, so basically this is something that she loved to use and I have used their balm and I love their balm. That balm has helped me a lot with my acne marks and things like that. So this is the cream version and it's called the Repair Cream and I'm excited to try that and hopefully it gives me a little bit of moisturizer after all of those steps. <laughs> so anyway. <laughs> Yeah.